Welcome back to the vlog. As you can tell, this room is full of boxes. And today's Thursday, August 18th, I think. So we picked up the U-Haul today. We are going to pack as much stuff as we can. So I've been packing up my office, my room. I'm the only, like I'm taking all my furniture from my office, but I'm not taking my bedroom furniture. I'm just taking like my clothes and my nightstands. We're gonna pack up everything in the U-Haul tonight. My flight leaves early in the morning. I'm headed to San Antonio because we have to close on the house tomorrow, inshallah. Saturday, my parents, Lauren and Naeem, are driving up to San Antonio, and I feel so bad because I'm not driving with them and it's a very long drive, but they're bringing all my stuff. On Monday, I'm taking my bridal portraits and my wedding dresses with the photographer, so. These next few days are going to be very, very busy. And yeah, I'm just. <laughs> already overwhelmed thinking about it so i'm just gonna take you guys through packing and everything i'm gonna do a house tour like an empty house tour i want to film it tomorrow before we move the stuff in so i don't know if that will be before this vlog or after it but we will see and action more like cosmetic stuff like yeah any like paint chips or you know roughed up edges or mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> amanda didn't she couldn't point out anything like i got there and the whole house was basically blue tape because i was just nitpicking you're everything. the perfect person to do that because muhammad's honestly like sway bit ocd the sway <laughs> so like but i just so want to get our money's worth a hundred percent you were probably there for like a good how long yeah i was on my hands and knees blue taping every little corner what time did you get there i got there like 11. Mm. Oh, we started blue taping like right away that was like two and a half hours yeah and now we're headed to the title office is that what they call it yeah to do like the all the paperwork, all the paperwork and get our house Oh, yeah. I, was, I can't believe it's finally here. I can't believe it either. It's so crazy. I feel like it's been forever like that I've been going to the house like every two or three days. Yeah. I feel like it's been forever, but then now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, wait. It's only been a few months. Like it passed it flew by. And we were supposed to close like a week before. We were supposed to close next Friday, which is exactly like a week before our wedding yeah but Mohammed's going he's leaving for boston on sunday for work 
and we didn't want to close a week before and mom had really pushed them to close before that like yeah. i'm really glad you did uh, i called the builder like in july and i told them i was like hey i'm gonna be in boston in the following week we have our wedding i need you to get this house ready and they did they pulled through and yeah there's still like a few things that they need to change like fix like um like the vena hood above the they have to like switch out a few things yeah um but they're just gonna be doing that this next week mm -hmm. so. yeah they'll be doing it while i'm in boston because no one's gonna be at the house obviously yeah my parents are coming up tomorrow so today we're just doing all the paperwork we're gonna go eat we're gonna go film an empty house tour mm -hmm. and then we're gonna move all the stuff in tomorrow yep. We just sat down at the title office. I'm probably not gonna record when we're actually signing the papers, but we're here. We are here. It's the next day and it's like 12 o'clock. We're at the house. They're installing the Wi-Fi right now. Um, Mohammed went to go get a haircut and I'm just cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. I'm like spraying through the cabinets and stuff to put the liners in. My parents are on the way and they're going to install the fridge and washer and dryer. I still haven't filmed the house tour because yesterday we didn't get the keys until today and then people have been like in and out. So I'm hoping to film that before a ton of stuff gets inside, but I'm just cleaning through everything. And I'm like, how am I gonna keep this kitchen clean when it's all white? Like, <laughs> so, um. Yeah, they still have a lot to do. Like they still have to clean the floors. They still have to touch up paint. And yeah, there's just a lot going on. I've been doing these liners for the past, I swear, a few hours. I'm almost done. Almost done. And I hope I bought enough. I have like one more roll. Mohammed is about to be here with his friend who has a truck and they brought all the boxes from his house. He has like everything that we've ordered, we've sent to Mohammed's family's house because obviously the house wasn't ready. Um, so it's like everything from plates and bowls to fans, light fixtures, literally everything. And there, I, I think we're gonna keep everything in the garage for now in boxes because the people are still going to be coming into the house um but like they get so so weird i feel like every builder has some sort of gimmick where it's like you know you have to buy something separate like the blinds were not included but they they ended up actually including the blinds but to the fans they were like oh you have to buy your own fans and if you want to buy them i think they were like 250 dollars a fan and they're these basic ones they ended up giving us two fans just i think they have to give you at least one or two i don't know i don't know how they ended up giving us two fans but they gave us one for here and one for our bedroom but i'm very ocd where i'm like okay then all the other fans in the house are going to look different so we decided and that's why i told mom and like just tell them we don't even want the fans because they're not even what we want. Um, but we decided, we're, he just decided to get them and I think we're gonna give them to his parents and they're gonna switch out some of their fans. I don't know. Um, so we, Mohammed bought fans and we're gonna replace all the fans. I bought a light um, a chandelier for the entryway and then one for my office. But we're, we've got to put those together and then when the electrician comes to do all that, it won't happen anytime this week or next. My parents are about an hour away, so I've just been trying to like hurry up and put everything, put the liners in because I don't know what we're going to put in the kitchen. I just want to get this done. <laughs> Taking Mohammed to the airport. It's usually the other way around. 
Yeah, it's so weird. So, Mohammed has a work trip that has fallen on the worst time possible, right during our move and a week before the wedding. And, it's the worst. Yeah. I'm going to be there for a whole week. No. Tell me where you going. Um, I'm going to Boston because that's where, like, the headquarters is. So. I hope you can have some fun while you're there. I know, but we're going to be, like, eat some good food. doing some stuff from, like, 8 to 5 every day, so. I know. Hopefully I could go to some good dinner spots. I hope so. I'm going to drop them off. My family's here. They came yesterday. We went to dinner last night. We unpacked the U-Haul, and basically that was it. So I'm, we're going to go to brunch, and they're probably going to come by the house for a little bit, and then I'm actually staying all day today and leaving tomorrow. Uh, so I'm just going to spend all day today with, have a like I'll probably finish lining the drawers in the bathroom and the bathroom upstairs and then yeah I don't know we'll find other things to do so I'll see you guys later it's a bit later I dropped my home at the airport had brunch with my family and they left and I'm at the house with my sister-in-law Hala she's upstairs vacuuming because they're bringing the um couch so we wanted to vacuum before we got that down and i'm trying to figure out where everything's going to go in the kitchen i started kind of unpacking things so there's nothing over there all of the pots and pans down here i still need to hang this on this little door right here i think it's going to take just cooking in the kitchen to figure out where things are going to go uh, is the end piece yeah Hala, is there a, you know that black bag down there? <laughs> couch that we went and got and they just delivered it we've got to fluff the pillows a bit and figure out exactly how far away from the tv we want it but i think muhammad's really gonna like it